Hello, this is Mary Lynn Van Sweeten. Today I'm going to show you a few of the features of inventory physical counts in Sage 100C. We're going to be looking at version 2018, but the features that we're going to be looking at will probably be available in the version that you have. These features have been available for quite some time in Sage 100. I'm going to start out by uh, looking at item maintenance. I just want to show you a couple of things that will help us as we look at the physical count. In my inventory item, I have an inventory cycle. This is a single character field. It's alphanumeric, so you have a few choices to be able to use, and these can be assigned to each of your inventory items. When we get to physical accounts, I can select only the items that are in a particular cycle. If we look at our list of items here, we're going to see that there are four items in inventory cycle one, and then I have a few others that are assigned to other numbers, and then most of my inventory is not assigned at all. It's your choice. It's not a requirement, but can be handy if you don't want to count all of your inventory at a given time. So let's move back to uh, the um, item. I'm going to select this first item, and I want to point out that this item has where uh, quantities on hand in four different warehouses, 000, 001, 002, and 098. And that's going to be important in a little bit. Okay, let's move on to phys the physical count uh, menu. I'm going to start out with the physical count worksheet. And there's a number of things in here that I think are handy. One, if you want the worksheet to be double spaced, you can check this. If you uncheck it, it's going to be the report's going to print smaller, but a little harder to write in your quantities counted. So I'm going to leave that there. Another thing is that I can choose to have the default quantity counted equaled to the quantity on hand, and then I would simply override when I need to make changes. And in my sample, I'm going to do this. There's one other thing that I'm going to do, is that I'm going to print the quantity on hand on my worksheet. When I pass out my worksheet to the uh, warehouse, I'm going to print a second one that doesn't have the quantities. Now, my report options over here, I have uh, four options, but I'm going to choose print worksheet and freeze items. Freezing items means that Sage is going to keep track of the quantity on hand by warehouse at this moment. It's going to allow me to continue to ship and receive if I am able, of course, to manage the physical accounts knowing that things might be processed in and out. I personally prefer to have all of that uh, updated and stopped while I'm doing my inventory. One more thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select my cycle code of 1 because I only want to see uh, the items that are assigned to this cycle and if you recall there were four of them. So let's preview the worksheet and see what happens. I'm going to see my four items. I could see this for warehouse 000. If I go to my next worksheet, I'm going to see it by Z warehouse 001. Of course, when I'm running my physical count worksheets, I can uh, divide them up by warehouse or simply do one warehouse at a time. It just depends on what works for your business. You'll notice here that I also have quantity on hand. I can see my quantity on hand. Here's my item, and if I have a bin location assigned, it's going to uh, list that as well. When my worksheet goes out to the warehouse and comes back, I then need to enter my physical count entry. And I need to do this warehouse by warehouse. You recall that I had four different warehouses. Here's the warehouse for uh, warehouse 000. Here are the quantities. If I need to change a quantity because I uh, counted something different than what the default was, I simply come in here and change it. If I had not selected that default, all of these numbers would be zero and I would have to enter something into each line. I'm going to accept this and we can look at the next warehouse 
and you'll see that I have different quantities. Oh, and perhaps I found one of these, so I'm going to have a little pickup in my inventory. I'm going to come to my warehouse 002, and I have no changes here. And I'm going to go to warehouse 98, and again, I have no changes here. I accept, and from this, I'm going to update the physical count variance register. What I can do, of course, is take a peek at this. And if I see large variances, well, maybe I need to go back and do a little recount. But if everything is satisfactory, then I'm going to update this. And you'll notice on the first line, I have two items were short, and that's what I had put in, and I'm accepting that small variance. I'm going to have a separate page for each warehouse. And you recall, I had found one item here before I had zero quantity on hand, so I have a small pickup in my inventory. And then you'll see with the remaining warehouses, there were no changes. I'm going to update my physical count worksheet, print my daily transaction register. The accounts that are going to be impacted, of course, are the ones that are defined in your product line maintenance. You can see that I went to the uh, I pulled it out of my physical count, and this is the um, account number that I have chosen to put my adjustments. Let's exit out of here and update this. Now, one thing that has done is if I would come into physical count entry again, and if I come to warehouse 000, there are no items here. Basically, the items have been unfrozen, and I'm ready now to start another physical count with another, with another cycle of my choosing. Hope this helps you get more out of Sage 100. Thank you.